Hey, Mr. Trump. Hey, it's Matt. I'm good. How are you? Good. Yeah, family's good. Kids are good. Yeah, thanks for asking. Hey, I wanted to ask you, um, following up on that conversation we we're having about my short rail shotgun, the one that's not registered, did you ever look into that and see if it's legal? I just want to make sure I don't get a felony. I'm about to make a video. So it is illegal. It is a felony. Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem. No, I'll just I'll just use my other shotgun in the video today. Oh, it, you don't think it's a felony? Cool. Well, yeah, well then the video would be better with the short one. So if it's not, then I'll put this one in there. What? It's maybe a felony? You don't know. Did you ask the uh, your head ATF guy? He doesn't know. Okay. If I use it in a video and then I get in trouble, will you pardon me? Cool. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah, I understand. I get that. I won't, I won't let this get on the internet. Um, one more question while we're kind of on the subject. Side-mounted rockets on my Raptor. No? Definitely no. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Okay, I have a video today that uh, hopefully I don't go to jail for. Um, just FYI, I am an attorney and everything I say uh, holds up in court. It's totally legally perfect. Not. Uh, don't use this video um, for anything because it's probably all the wrong information, which you should know by now. So there's this law that says a shotgun has to have at least an 18 inch barrel. So what we have here is an 18 inch barrel shotgun. And for a long time, this is what you thought of when you thought of a short barreled shotgun because when you go bird hunting, you have shotgun barrels that are, you know, another foot longer than this, but this has an 18 inch long shotgun barrel. It's good for, you know, self-defense, protecting the home. If I decided to cut this shotgun barrel any shorter than 18 inches, which would be like right here. If I cut it right there, felony. That is a felony. You could go to jail for that. And if you possess a barrel less than 18 inches on a shotgun without the necessary paperwork, it is a felony. And Matt Carricker, as far as I know, has never committed any felonies. Yet I am holding a short short barrel, I can't say it because it might make it a felony. If you ask anyone what a Mossberg 590 is, they would say a Mossberg 590 is a shotgun. If you read right here, you will see that this is a Mossberg 590. A shotgun is a firearm that fires a shotgun shell and is to be fired from the shoulder with a stock, is fitted with a stock and made to be fired from the shoulder. Okay, that's a shotgun. So this gun, even though it is a 590, and 590s have been for years fitted with butt stocks and made to be fired from the shoulder, this 590 from the factory did not have a butt stock. It had a pistol grip and was made to be fired like this. So because it can't be fired from the shoulder, it is not classified as a shotgun. So maybe a rifle. And if it is a rifle, its barrel is less than 16 inches, which is the legal limit for rifles. This is a 14 inch barrel, so that would make it a felony if it was a rifle. But it has no buttstock either, and so maybe it's a pistol. But it's got a smooth bore, and pistols with smooth bore are also felonies. So, what is it? <laughs> And how is it not a felony? I ask you that, but it's a rhetorical question because I know exactly what this is. It's not a shotgun. It's not a shotgun. It's not a rifle. This is not a pistol. And I want to educate you and tell you exactly what this is. This is a non-NFA item. That's what it's called. The NFA is the National Firearms Act, controlled by the ATF. 
So here's where it gets a little weird. If I was to cut this barrel to be 14 inches like this one, that would be a felony. If I was to take this buttstock off of this and put it onto this, that would be a felony. If I was to cut this barrel any shorter and make the minimum length of this thing less than 27 inches, that would be a felony. So basically, the Mossberg 590 Shockwave is just dancing the line of legal versus felony, which is right where I wanna be. As long as y'all don't tell Mayor about it. This will be the first time I've shot it. <sighs> People know shotguns are good for self-defense. They're good like in a house because they spread. Short barrel shotgun really spreads. I mean, it looks like it looks like the center of my shot was about right here. Kind of a little low since, you know, I was shooting from the hip and not really aiming. But it still spread to here. I would guess we had about a two foot wide pattern at 10, 11 yards right here. So let's say this is an intruder. I just hit him with one. I'm gonna go ahead, take him down. He got fairly Peppered. If Lieutenant Dan broke into my house but was wearing level 3A body armor, how many rounds from a shotgun would it take to get through this? We got Lieutenant Dan looking fabulous. I probably should have brought like a plate carrier or something to hold that, but I, I didn't want to waste it, so I just tied a bunch of strings around it. <laughs> kind of sums up my life. Just very haphazard and all I had was string in the truck. I didn't even have duct tape. What kind of Texan doesn't have duct tape in his pickup truck? but I did have string. Oh, he might take a lot of hits. Woo. I think I can knock him over if I shoot two really fast back to back. Oh, I missed. Nope, oh, he's tough. Tough old bird. Caught him on the bounce. Most of them been hitting high as you can see, and it's tearing them up pretty good. But, if you look under here, nothing has made it through yet. All those BBs are stopping, but you can see we are gonna start letting some slip through pretty soon. It's warm, <laughs> but he's getting tore up. It's not looking like anything made it through. What? There are, n oh wait, are those holes back there? There's the front, here's the back. There's a tiny hole there where one came through, and then I can feel some right under this paper. There's one right there. So maybe one BB made it through, but not enough, wow, I can feel them, they're all in the bottom right here. They're right here in this thing. Not enough to do any damage to old Lieutenant Dan. Uh, with an entire box of shotgun shells fired straight at his chest. So this was level 3A body armor, like I said. Level 3A will stop up to a 44 Magnum. Let's try some level 3, which will stop up to a 308, a rifle caliber. This is a high polyethylene, high molecular weight polyethylene plate, so it's like it's like fabric, just like that, but it's compressed and hard. This one's not flexible. Real hard, much thicker. We'll stop up to 308. What will it do when hit with bird shot? And maybe we have some other stuff to shoot it too. Check out how good I look in this Demolition Ranch hat with this Demolition shirt. All for sale, link below at bunkerbranding.com. We've changed everything with our merchandise, and we're also rolling out some new stuff that I'm not showing in this video, but will be available very soon. It actually might be available now when you go look at it on our website. And I'm gonna put a link to a video explaining all our merchandise stuff. It's an off the ranch video showing everything that we did. We are doing something super cool with the merchandise, not just for my channel. We're gonna do it for a bunch of YouTubers. We're gonna make everybody stuff and we're gonna be the best merch company in the world. I got big plans. Back to the guns though. Knock him over.
Pairing them up, getting softer. On the front, it's very soft. Man, it's getting hit pretty good. The back though is like perfect. Probably the middle's perfect too. Maybe we ought to step it up a little bit with a 12 gauge slug. These are actually low recoil slugs. So maybe they won't hurt me too bad since I'm not firing them with a shoulder stock. But I'm gonna go ahead and put five in there. I scooted him back. Since I'm shooting slugs now and I don't want it to bounce back and hit me. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to hit, I think. Man, I'm scared to shoot it like that when I'm aiming. I'm just gonna aim from the hip. <laughs> Woo! That was the dirt behind him. Okay, I'm gonna aim it. That was it, yeah! Woo! Oh yeah. Last one. Woo! I think I got at least three of those. That's pretty good. One, two, and three, right there. And uh, yeah, none of them made it through. Solid, bro. Solid. Let's get dangerous. So that was a low recoil slug, right? Well, I also have some full power slugs. Boom. So I'm gonna shoot the low recoil slug first, and then I'll shoot the full power so you can see the difference. Also, watch me be Arnold. Yeah, no big deal. Okay, um, I'm not gonna really aim. I'm just, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm shooting from the hip. Here goes full power. Oh my gosh. I hit him, I don't think I hit the target. Uh, did you see the fireball come out of there? I feel like we should do that again in slow motion. <laughs> Some of y'all seem to have forgotten that I am the shotgun trickloading king of the world. Don't forget again. We've shot a ton through that shockwave. It seems to work great. But I wanna put these high power slugs on target. So I have this 870 completely loaded up with the Magnum slugs. And I'm gonna be aiming right at Lieutenant Dan. See if we can make it through that thing. This is gonna suck, by the way. Oh, they never end. Oh. Yeah. Nothing? Look at that. There's a the slug. Nice and warm. That just ripped the back fabric, but did not let anything through. No slugs made it through. Go check out bunkerbranding.com. It's our new website we just launched this week. Uh, it's pretty cool. And in, we're selling all of our merchandise there so you can get this stuff, help support our channel because it's, you know, you know how it's going over here on YouTube with gun stuff. Um, but also go check out our other creators. We have Andy Rawls, he does woodworking stuff. We have my brother, Operator Drewski, he is a video game YouTuber. And then we have Lunkers, who you guys have seen on here a ton. And we're gonna branch out and get more creators as well in the future. 
uh, more info to come. But go check out, see what we're doing over there um, because we're really excited and we put a ton of work into this and I think you're gonna like it just about as much as I like this thing. Uh, that's all we have for you here. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.